Hello and welcome to ShowMeAcademy.com. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to autofill cells in Microsoft Excel 2007. In front of me here, I have a spreadsheet full of NFL data from the recent season. And what I'm going to do is scroll down to the end where I have the conclusion of the data. I have data here in the last row. And if I scroll over to the right, it goes to the last column. And of course, we have a lot of empty space beyond there. And if I were going to enter new rows, if I had, let's say, a 33rd team, it would be easy enough to type in here a new number and a new team name and continue to fill in data like that. However, there are some ways in Excel for us to autofill that data without having to manually type in every new column or every new row. We're going to show you how to do that here. First of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select one of these cells that's on the edge. For example, this one here is the rank column. It just gives the numerical value of the rank for that team. And I'm going to select that. And notice when I select it here that every time you select a cell, the border of it becomes this dark black. But the bottom right of it isn't quite the same as the other corners. That's because this is basically a little handle that we can use to click and drag that cell data into subsequent rows or columns. When I move my cursor over it, you'll notice that my cursor changes. It changes to this thin black crosshair. When I move it off of there, it goes to this thick white cross. But every time I move it back over just that bottom right corner, it's going to move back to that thin black crosshair. That tells me that I'm in the area where I can click and drag this cell data to subsequent rows or columns. Let me show you how I do that. With my mouse being here, I'm going to left click. And while I hold down the left click mouse button, I'm going to drag this down to these cells. And when I let go, you'll notice what it did is it took the value that was here in this cell and it copied it one time for every other cell that I selected. Now I can do that with other cells as well. For example, here, I'll take this, it has the San Francisco 49ers, and I'll grab, again, this bottom right handle, and I can see that it's, it's available because it moves to that black crosshair, and I'm going to click my left mouse button, hold it down, and drag it downward like this, and now you can see we've taken this value, San Francisco 49ers, we've copied it down to each one of these cells. Now, let me undo this a little bit here. And I'm going to go back here, and I'm going to do this again. I'm going to grab this handle at the bottom right corner, and I'm going to drag it down. And notice when I do that, that this little menu pops up. When I mouse over it, it says Autofill Options. And if I click on this, it's going to give me different options for the values that have just been autofilled by my clicking and dragging. Now you can see the one that's selected is copy cells. In other words, it took this value, 32, and it copied it to every one of the cells that I selected below it. However, we have other options. You can instead fill series. You see what happens there is that it tries to make a series out of the data that I've just copied. In other words, it looks here and it sees that this was a numerical value, so it assumes that it's a series, and then it does the next subsequent value in every cell, 33, 34, 35, 36, etc. We have other options as well. We can fill the formatting only or fill without formatting. So in other words, let's imagine that here we have a yellow cell and I can again grab this corner and drag it down and it's going to take notice this time the formatting and the value and copy all of them and I can tell it to instead just copy the formatting. In this, in this case, it only copies the yellow. Or I can tell it to just copy the fill without formatting. In other words, copy the data without the formatting that's underneath the cell. Or I can tell it just copy the cells, which does the formatting and the cell data. And of course, once again, I can tell it to fill the series, the series, will do a numerical value there as well. You can do this to the right, just as I did it to the bottom. So for example, if I'm over here and I have this value, I can take it, excuse me, 
and drag it over like this. And when I do, it takes that value and copies it over to all these others. And then I still have the same options for copying the fill series, copying the fill and formatting only, or the fill without formatting. Of course, this works just, just as well on textual data as it does with numerical data. We saw that earlier when I grabbed this text value and I simply dragged it down like this, and now I copied it to all these cells. So you can see that if you have a few cells started, it's very easy to continue a numerical order or to just take a single value and drag it and drop it into adjacent cells so that you don't have to continually retype the same data over and over. This concludes the tutorial. Thank you for using showmeacademy.com.